Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about the keyboard. In this video I'm going to teach you the basics of a 1950s, 60s chord progression. It's often used in pop and rock and mainly in ballads and I'm sure when you hear it you'll recognise it immediately in several songs. So as long as your keyboard is laid out like this you will be fine. So first of all we need to find the C chord. So let's get started. You will notice there are banks of three black keys and two black keys. Three black keys, two black keys. The C note is found to the left of that black key. So you've got banks of three, banks of two. This one here, that is your C note. No matter which octave you're in, that is the C note. To make a chord, you need three notes. You need the C, skip a white note, the E, skip a white note, the G. So you're playing that. I'm moving my hand out the way. You wouldn't really play the chord like that. They're the chords we're playing. C, E, G. C, E, G. Together, that's a C chord. A C major chord. So it's the root note here. That's the chord you're in. Skip a white note. E, skip another white note. G. That is a C chord, and we're going to play it four beats to the bar. So you just simply press down one, two, three, four. That would be one bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The next chord we need is an A minor chord, an A minor, alpha minor. So we've got C major, Charlie major, and now we need A minor. Now this shape is important, so you play a note, skip a note, skip a note, that one, okay? So we need to find the A note, so that's C. We're going deeper, going this way down the piano. There's a B, there's your A there. So there's C, B, A. So we do the same again, play the A note, skip a note, skip a note, so we're playing A, C and E, A, C and E, and that is your A minor, and we can play that four beats to the bar, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So now we'll try going from C to A minor, we will do four four key presses for each one. So there's C. One, two, three, four. One, two, back to C. Back to C. A minor. Now what you can't do is this. You can't do one, two, three, four, big gap while you think about it, then the A minor. You have to be able to play it and change in the gaps in between. So you can do C, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four. Now we need another two chords to make this into a chord progression. The next is an F. So you've got your A there going left, you go down another two notes. That is your F note. It's to the left of the bank of three black keys. And what you do there is, again, the F note, skip a note, skip a note. So now you're playing F, A, C, and that is your F chord. Again, the same rule, play the note, skip a note, skip a note. That is your F chord, your Foxtrot major chord. So now we can change between them three. Four on each. After four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A minor, two, three, F. Okay, we'll try that again, starting with the C. One, two, three, four. C. A minor. C. Now we need one more chord to make it a chord progression. So you've got your F there. The G note is to the right of that F. So that's your F. 
that's your G and again we're obeying the same rules we're playing the G note skipping a white note skipping a white note so for the G chord it is G B D that is your golf major chord your G major chord so now we play four on each C after four one two three four A minor G. I'm back to Charlie. Alpha. Foxtrot. Golf. C. Alpha. Moving to Foxtrot. Then Golf. Back to C. Now I'm sure some of you can recall many songs with that chord progression. It was mainly used in the 1950s and 60s. So that's why you may have heard it in several of the big songs. So we've got a C, an alpha minor, a foxtrot and a golf. So as you can see that chord shape is movable on the keyboard. Okay, so C, same shape. Alpha minor, same shape, foxtrot, same shape, golf, same shape. We get the name from the note we're playing with our thumb here, your right thumb. And you can play a lot of songs with those chords. So, I hope you found this video useful. I will be doing more videos in this series, so Tune back to Blackpool Music School in a couple of days to see the next video. If you've enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Blackpool Music School for more videos. The more thumbs up we get and the more subscribers we get, the more videos we will post. We are now in 4K, so if the video quality and sound quality has improved, let me know in the comments below. So until next time, take care, keep practicing, keep playing, and as always, goodbye.